Hi, my name's Thea. I am a painter from Dorset and I make murals and paintings with oil and acrylic. Painting has become a much more central feature in my life after I decided to use it as a way to travel. Um, people trusted me with their walls and I became a lot more confident in my own style of art and my ideas. I got to paint in some really beautiful places and leave art sort of lying around everywhere. I think the main idea I took away from that is the idea of art being something to share or something that gives you an experience rather than it just being some kind of commodity. People are always really curious and keen to get involved when they see you doing something like a mural or um, painting on someone's body. I love the idea that art doesn't have to be permanent. If it adds colour to someone's memories or helps to give some kind of, um, some kind of atmosphere in a place, I think it's doing its job. One thing that's easy to notice if you've seen some of my paintings is the abundance of bums. The reason for that is partly just that it's funny and it makes people smile, I think, but also the idea is to not take it too seriously. Um, you know, it's like just silly and invites you to approach art or life or whatever <laughs> with a more sort of light-hearted view. I love the idea that art can help with body positivity. Most of my paintings feature people and people surrounded by nature. Uh, this concept kind of comes back to me quite regularly. Whatever else I experiment with, it always kind of seems to return. Um, I think there's a strong link between people being comfortable uh, with our bodies and with like other people's bodies and the idea of sort of immersion in nature. Um, and like with figurative art in general and I think it can be amazing to reframe your whole body image or self image within that context. Um, that's also the reason that I love to use bright colours uh, quite often because I associate those colours with that feeling of empowerment. So if you feel powerful and comfortable with yourself and confident you feel all these bright colours and it's like using colour to intensify what's going on um, like when you're representing it visually. Other concepts I love is this slightly voyeuristic idea of painting someone who's not aware that they're being looked at or painted. Um, so I've done a few of people sleeping because I love this feeling of peace and this idea of him sort of being in his own world, not receptive or interacting with other people. Um, he's just existing outside of the like social noise. Um, so this is the piece that I'm working on at the moment. I've started off um, on this side, you can see I've just got um, pencil sketch uh, lightly on it. Um, I've got some media experiments and kind of colour palettes to help me and for this one I have a couple of figures which I have cut out which I wouldn't normally do but I'm not really sure about um, the figures on this painting. I don't think that you necessarily have to use the colours that are given to you to represent something. So in this painting here, I obviously have not used a lot of green. Um, I think the nice thing about that is that the green in the painting is at the moment and hopefully at the end of it um, more rich. It's kind of highlighted because of the um, contrast with the other bright colours. Um, I also think that when you're out in nature it is more sort of colourful and vivacious than a lot of um, paintings or photos of it are because, you know, um, I think a sort of realistic painting of nature doesn't always sort of capture how bright and how interesting and how colourful it is. So I think sometimes you have to sort of change it a little bit so that you can 
um, exaggerate it. Some of the paintings that are in um, the art centre at the moment are kind of more elemental. So there's this one of a girl sitting in fire. Well, it's not fire because it's pink, but it's fire. <laughs> um, and the one on the website, uh, which is actually over there, is um, this man lying in water. But I find the other elements that they're really interesting concepts to paint visually because obviously you can just paint them as they are physically, which for air would just be invisible. <laughs> um, for water, um, I don't know, water can be represented in a lot of different ways so it's an interesting one to paint. Um, I would tie this painting particularly to um, the sort of earth element. Um, and this one is just like an acrylic painting, so maybe some oil to finish with. Uh, I'm also doing a little bit of an experiment because I'm using a correction pen for this painting. Um, I'm not sure if you're meant to do that, but <laughs> when I come towards finishing the rest of the painting you will see that there's going to be a little bit of a story going on, so keep your eyes peeled if you want to know what happens in the painting.